Hey dudes, it's Brianna back with another video. I usually talk about art topics and just do art in general, so if that's the content you enjoy, why not stick around? And if you've been to my channel here before, you might have noticed the new formatting, but yeah, I think it'll make things easier, but tell me what you think about it in the comments. Well, let's get into the video topic. Ageism is a term used a lot in the art community, and it's actually a big problem that affects all ages online. And it's gonna be a major topic in today's video, which is why I bring it up. But some of you might have raised a brow and said, what even is that? Well, ageism is a discrimination against age. But before we get more into ageism itself, let's get more into my first topic and the reason why I made this video. That being artists younger than you aren't your enemy. And it might seem like a wild thing to clarify, but believe it or not, it's become a problem. Art should be a fun hobby or job, not a competition. And this competition has definitely arose with the rise of artists on social media. But what even is the prize, you may ask? Validation. Like, support of comments, subscriptions, follows, just clout in general. Many artists without those things feel discouraged and feeling like they lost. It becomes discouraging to see artists around them growing and more than they do and getting more recognition. And when they do get recognition, it's like the silly doodle content that they post gets more recognition than the actual art they draw. And it's really discouraging. I actually go more into that aspect on the video of how social media ruins artists, but it definitely applies here as well. But in recent years, it seems artists have been competing in so many aspects. Who has the best art style, who can produce the most, and what I notice way too much is the wars against ages. It seems like a lot of older artists are starting to dislike seeing younger artists because they're seen as better, or they believe the child's work to be better than theirs. I see so many people talk about how they hate seeing kids on their page and how they block them because it ruins their confidence, and you know what? I get it. Can you really fully blame them? Older artists have such big expectations put on them for some strange reason. And with that comes the fear that younger artists have of growing up and just being labeled as average, and it's a reasonable fear that I once had too. I will actually get more into this topic later, so stay listening because I want to talk more on why I think these expectations are in place. But I think we need to stop treating art as this competition. I mean, unless you're actually in an art competition, go ahead, but I'm speaking more generally. Art can be and is many things, it really depends on who you're asking, but I think it should be a way of human expression and connecting with others in many ways. The art community shouldn't be a place where we're fighting to be on top, to be the most seen and most loved, but a community where we support each other no matter the age or art style. And sure, you let have preferred art styles, have opinions on pieces and art topics and all that, it's perfectly fine. I myself have my entire channel based on opinions within the topics of art, but I'm talking about treating everyone around you like their competitors, that mentality is kind of ridiculous to be honest. They aren't your enemies, they're artists just like you. And no, that doesn't mean you're a god-awful person or wrong for jealousy. I'm guilty of jealousy. Literally everyone at one point in their life has been jealous. And yeah, it sucks. But don't let that affect you. Your jealousy is completely valid, but do not let that jealousy overcome you. Jealousy can't always be controlled, which is why like, treating someone like it's a crime isn't good because sometimes they really can't control it. It's just a feeling that pops up. But where it mainly comes an issue is when they dwell and dwell in that jealousy, and it becomes an un extremely unhealthy mindset. If you're surrounding yourself in this extremely unhealthy mindset, it can consume you and you'll suck the fun out of your art journey. But anyway, try to have more of a positive mindset. Like when you feel like you're having negative thoughts and they're clouding your mind about your art, turn them into something more positive. Which yes, this is more easier said than done, I know, but it's worth a shot. And yeah, having a positive environment to surround yourself with is really hard online. There's so many people on here that are allergic to fun and all things good, but that doesn't mean everyone is that way. Ignore the negative people who hate just because they're behind a screen. They literally know nothing about you, so don't take it personally. Creating a positive mindset and environment can help with your art, since if you're stressed and upset, your performance probably wouldn't be that good compared to your art if you were in a positive state. And that could be a reason or maybe why you're not improving. I mean, there's obviously other factors, but it could be one of the reasons. But speaking of improving, yes, this is a very unclever segue into the next topic related to this, but speaking of improving, many older artists are baffled about how these kids look and sound more experienced. We have to think about this here. As time went on, more resources popped up. They might have had more resources than you did at their age. When I was about 9, my sources were those how to draw books and looking up Google images I liked or cartoons I watched as reference and the extra elective art class in my elementary school that was pretty much limiting their own students. 9 year olds right now can have the option of the internet with unlimited sources. They have many artists to encourage and teach them with many diverse styles on display. And there are obviously other factors in why these kids are improving so fast. And these comparisons are just very unbalanced because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. This is why I think comparison is kind of bad when you're comparing yourself to others because you don't know how long they've been drawing, you don't know what resources they had, you don't know, like, I don't know, maybe their parents are like artists and they're teaching them the basics. 
you don't know what someone's behind the scenes is, so you can't really make a proper comparison. Your comparison can be completely unbalanced, and you're putting yourself down for someone who might have had more resources than you. Comparison truly is the thief of joy. You could have beautiful works and come across someone you deem as better, and then your work is just instantly seen as terrible to yourself. It happens to me all the time and it sucks the fun out of everything. And the worst part is, if you aren't comparing yourself to others, people will do it for you. Plus, I've said this so many times, you guys are probably so annoyed at this point because I said it's like almost every video, but everyone improves at their own pace. There is no improvement timeline. Just because you don't instantly improve the time you want doesn't make it bad. There is no wrong time to improve. Everyone is, goes at their own pace and that is completely okay. But let's get on to ageism in general, my opinions, and why I think people have the beliefs and standards they do. And I'm targeting this more towards older artists, but maybe I'll make one in the future for younger artists out there. As I mentioned earlier, older artists have these expectations, and god forbid an older artist is a beginner, you should be better at your age. Or uh, why aren't you as good as that kid? It is disgusting to see how people treat older beginner artists. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but artists are not bestowed a destiny to draw at birth and aren't trained like the chosen ones with some destiny to draw. Anyone can pick up a pencil at any time. Just because someone starts later than others doesn't make it bad. And you can't expect someone to be good at something they just because of their age. That's, that's completely ridiculous. And the craziest thing to me is that some of these artists are still literally so young. I've seen people in their early 20s get referred to as too old to start drawing or too old to draw the way they do. Like, like what? I've even heard it be told to 16 year olds. It's baffling. And I can't even imagine what happens to artists older than that then if that's considered old to them. Like, if 16 is too old, I'm guessing 30 is, like, ancient. Like, the dust is collecting on you. Like, what? But I mainly think this mindset stems from the fact that older people are seen as wiser, more superior, and more experienced. We looked up to those who are older, and which a lot of times create these expectations that they should be better, they should be wiser, and they should be more superior in every case. But that's not true. Adults won't always know the answer. They can and will struggle at times, and that is completely okay. We need to stop treating them like these perfect beings that can do no wrong. They're human too. They're not going to be a Picasso if they're new to art, and they're not going to be able to do everything that's thrown at them. And again, that is perfectly fine. I think something that's always stuck with me was this quote that I heard, which went something like this. When they're a child, they're a prodigy. But when they're an adult, they're just average. And it's definitely true standard-wise. Literally, a child will do anything and they will be applauded like crazy. And an adult can do the same thing and no one will bat an eye. When, in the reality, both things are impressive. This makes younger artists fear growing up and being labeled as average or nothing special. And it makes older artists not even want to bother improving or even bother starting to draw. Older artists get hate for their age if their art style isn't up to the internet standards and it's sickening. It makes people believe it'll be too late to start learning, which, hey, there's no starting point. Start whenever at any age. And if you think this is your time to start drawing, then do it. Art can be so fun and I definitely recommend trying it out. There are many forms and if you don't like one, try another. There's not just sketching, there's not just painting, there's clay modeling, there is pottery, there is sewing, there is music, there is writing. There are so many different forms of art that aren't acknowledged as art enough. And don't worry about your art being quote unquote bad. Art is completely subjective, so what may be bad to you may inspire another. And think of it in the bigger picture. In the future, you will look back at those pieces and think, wow, I improved. But overall, any age can draw and there's no right starting point. Younger artists will never be objectively better. And remember guys, all of your art is beautiful and there are many factors in why someone has a skill set they have. Artists, young, old, any, any artist at all, you are all doing great. But what are your opinions on this? Let me know your opinions, experience with the subject, and video ideas in the comments down below. But I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. As usual, as a thank you for seeing through today's yap session, here are the brush codes. Remember to love your art, love others, and love yourselves. Alright, bye! Thank you.